Tippecanoe County farmer John Hahn says almost every farmer he knows has at least one area like this in their field. Looks more like a pond than a place to plant corn or soybeans. Normally we like to get started the, at least the last week of April and try to get finished up with the corn in the first week of May and, and, and some of the soybeans and uh, it's just not going to happen this year. John Hahn says the recent rains have saturated his fields with water. He says it'll be at least another week before the ground will be dry enough to start planting. First of May is real close close up, so we're not going to be in the field by May. Those delays may or may not be influential to the final crop. Purdue agricultural economist Chris Hurt says farmers across the region are seeing the same problems as Han. He says most farmers would like to have corn in the ground by mid-May. If that doesn't happen, he says the focus will be on this summer's weather to help determine this year's yield. If we have a more moderate temperatures and abundant rainfall in the summer, uh, that can actually overcome late planting. The ideal thing is to get the corn planted uh, fairly early, and uh, then when you get into that hot, dry spell in July, you know the corn is far enough along matured enough that it's already uh, uh, decided how much it's going to yield. Since we're already seeing a major corn shortage, Hertz says a low yield this year could mean a major impact on grocery prices. If you think about $4 gasoline in 2008 and now, uh, corn's kind of the same way. It's at record high prices. If we were to have a short corn crop, we would see the equivalent of gasoline going up to $5 or even $6 a gallon. Hurt emphasizes it's not time to panic about food prices just yet. He says it really won't be until probably the end of the summer when we have a better sense of what the yield is for corn and soybeans. Kristen Mayorano, News Channel 18.